When I left office and was moving to Florida, boxes were openly sitting on the White House sidewalk. Everybody was taking pictures of them. This isn't somebody smuggling boxes out. We were negotiating with the National Archives and Records Administration, just as every other president has done. And the next thing I knew, Mar-a-Lago was raided by gun-toting FBI agents. Former President Donald Trump making his first public appearance since that historic federal indictment, accusing him of knowingly mishandling classified material and storing them at his Mar-a-Lago estate. Trump calling the criminal charges ridiculous and baseless while making campaign stops in Georgia and North Carolina today. But it's here in South Florida, <clears throat> excuse me, where this unprecedented case will play out. Local 10's Cody Weddle live outside the federal courthouse in Miami, where Trump is set to appear Tuesday. Cody. And Laren and Sanella, as you heard there, we just heard from pre former President Donald Trump at an event in Georgia, and he seemed to downplay these accusations against him, saying he never smuggled out documents from the White House. But the Justice Department is saying the documents he had included uh, plans as sensitive as America's nuclear programs. When I left office and was moving to Florida, boxes were openly sitting on the White House sidewalk. Everybody was taking pictures of them. This isn't somebody smuggling boxes out. Former President Donald Trump speaking in Georgia Saturday, his first public appearance since the announcement of his indictment on Friday, lashing out at the Justice Department. The ridiculous and baseless indictment of me by the Biden administration's weaponized Department of Injustice will go down as among the most horrific abuses of power in the history of our country. Special counsel Jack Smith unsealing the 49-page indictment on Friday, detailing 37 counts against the former president. According to the documents, Trump orchestrated a scheme to hide the papers shown in these photos and lied to authorities who sought them. Our laws that protect national defense information are critical to the safety and security of the United States, and they must be enforced. Trump's opponents in the 2024 presidential race now deciding how to respond to the historic indictment. Governor Ron DeSantis in North Carolina mostly avoiding the subject. If we're united, 2024 will be the year when America fights back. And fight back we will. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie on national television more blunt speaking against Trump. The bigger issue for our country is, is this the type of conduct that we want from someone who wants to be president of the United States. Trump encouraging his supporters to come to the federal courthouse, posting on social media, see you in Miami on Tuesday. So Trump wants his supporters to descend on this area on Tuesday. City of Miami police have promised they will be working with federal and state agencies to both protect freedom of speech here and maintain order. We've already been seeing several city of Miami police officers out here patrolling this area today. We're live in downtown Miami. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News. It's gonna be a busy week for all of us. Thank you, Cody. Stay with Local 10 on air and online as this historic case continues unfolding.